Abilene City Council at the end of July. What are the lakes I enjoyed going mm -hmm. to back when I worked in West Texas, yeah, Carson, at KTAB? You worked in the big country. Was I worked that what in, they the, called it? in the big country, the big and it country. was a big lake, too. Mm -hmm. And it was a nice day today to go to a lake. I mean, really, it wasn't too hot. Yeah. Plenty of sun. Mm -hmm. Nice to take a break from all the rain. Yes, Isaac, pretty par for the course with what we expect for this time of year. As a matter of fact, I mean, we were a degree lower on our low, and we were a degree higher on our uh, high temperature there. So, as I mentioned before, par for the course, no records or anything like that set today, and it's still warm. We are in the 80s right now. Athens and Tyler both in the middle 80s. Longview's at 84. It's 86 in Nacogdoches, 87 in Lufkin. The dew points are beginning to recover a little bit, though. We are in the upper 60s and lower 70s as that moisture continues to stream in. So tonight, we do get down to 69 degrees. Isolated storm possible, but I don't think everybody sees a storm. 83 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy with the potential at some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And here's where the thinking for the rain chances comes from. We're seeing a few showers and storms over Trinity and Polk County, and you can see a couple of showers uh, beginning to bulk up a little bit over the Trinity vicinity there on Lake Livingston. Other than that, we've been relatively dry. So this is, you know, what appears to be more of a land sea breeze effect to the south of the front, and it's kind of running into that forcing or the lift of the front and we're seeing a couple of showers and thunderstorms go up because of that and then we do have, have the northwesterly flow with the upper level winds moving from the northwest to the southeast this will become more dynamic tomorrow which could be a cause for concern for more severe thunderstorms both tomorrow and then again on friday so watching storms over the next couple of hours in deep east texas i don't think they'll do much because we just don't have the environmental conditions that we had yesterday morning however things could change tomorrow. You can see by tomorrow at one o'clock, seeing a couple of showers and thunderstorms moving from northwest to southeast, which might uh, put a damper on afternoon plans. But these showers and storms, they move out. The atmosphere recharges and re-racks for more storms to arrive on Friday. They emerge out of the DFW area, and we could be dealing with some more nocturnal thunderstorms early Friday morning. Those move off to the north and to the northeast, and then we see another round of storms by Friday afternoon and Friday night. Those move through, and then we should see a break uh, late Friday night. But here are the severe weather threats. Marginal risk for all of East Texas for tomorrow, but that does transfer transition into a slight risk for all of East Texas for Friday. Right now, the main threats will be the threats of wind and hail. The tornado threat is low, and as we look at the next seven days, we're dealing with that chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms each of the next seven days with high temperatures in the 80s and lower 90s. And then as we look at deep East Texas, similar deal. We're monitoring that chance of showers and thunderstorms over the next seven days. Not everybody sees a storm every single day but we'll definitely have storms that we'll be watching each of the next seven. Isaac. Thank you, Carson.